Is this a familiar scene? This is my morning after makeup tutorial. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is get my hair off my face because it's annoying me. Uh, the only thing is I don't have a hair elastic, but I'm gonna use my undies instead. So I need to find some oil because oil is fantastic at removing makeup. This smells like it could be olive oil. So I'm just gonna take this to the bathroom and see if it is. So you've had a one night stand and you don't really have a lot with you to help you get ready, but you've got cooking oil. We've got some toilet paper and I'm sure we're gonna be able to find some stuff in here to help us get ready. One thing that you're probably going to want to do, and I would not recommend it, is you are gonna to wanna to have a hot shower. And the only thing that that is gonna do is freeze your hair up and have your makeup slide down your face and it's gonna get stuck. So just put up with it for now, wait until you get home. So, you want some kind of face cream or hand cream. And this looks like that. And men always have that. And you know why they have that? But we're gonna use cotton buds. And talcum powder is great. Um, I guess as a substitute for dry shampoo. Alrighty. So I'm just gonna take some toilet paper like this. And as I said before, if you wanna take all your makeup off, Feel free to use oil, it removes everything and that goes for like any type of oil as well. As I said, that smells like olive oil but I really don't know if anything is going to come out of here. Are we in luck? Oh, I see a drop. So this is going to take off my lipstick. Oh, there we go. All I'm going to do is just put that on my face. <laughs> See, it's like magic. And then if you had lip gloss with you, I'd probably recommend putting that on now, but I have nothing with me. Perfect, I already look heaps better. Uh, another thing that can take off makeup is any form of like eye cream or hand cream or face cream. So I'm just gonna stick some of this hand cream on the back of my hand. And then really generously apply this just underneath my eyes like that. Sort of going like up, almost like you're doing a cat eye. And anywhere else where you feel that you've got makeup that you want to remove. And then all you're going to do is just using a cotton bud, start to clean up under your eyes, sort of twirling it as you go. It's just gonna help to pick up product. And if you run out of like cream, you're just gonna put a little bit more on there. And then I'm just gonna sort of put my finger there just to hold the skin a little bit taut as I go up. And just continue to go up. And then really slowly just cleaning that up. And then using just a clean cotton bud, I'll just, if I can, just blend that out as much as I can. And don't be afraid to do this. And all I'm gonna do is just sort of blend out as much as I can that existing product. I feel like that most girls carry with them some form of like face powder or foundation or um, concealer pen. This fits in really nicely in my wallet. And all I'm gonna do is just to brighten my face a little bit, is just apply some concealer. Again, going up, and that's just gonna help um, your made up mess stand out a little bit more. Just like that.
and then just applying some just on the inner corner because if you haven't had a lot of sleep you might be dark there and then just a little bit of talc in your hands not too much oops that was too much so just shake it off your hand and whatever's left is perfect and then just rub your hands together like that and then just running it through your hair I wouldn't go too much on the ends because that's not going to be the problem area it's going to be right up near your roots it's going to get a little bit oily just like so you know what <laughs> I think this looks, I think I look pretty good. Like I think I could go like out to brunch or even to work right now and people would not know. They just wouldn't know.